So day two of Redneck Ricer. Just like I said, I took my trusty cutting torch, laid the manifold gasket on there. Now it works both ways because I cut out some new holes. Like as you can see. So it's going to fit just like that. And that little slot's the only mod on the body so far and I have to cut the hood. Wah. Well, now to throw it back on. Every one of the bolts lined up. So that's perfect. Well, soon my proto gay won't be looking so gay anymore. Manifold is securely mounted. Oxygen sensor is hooked up again. Oh, let's see this thing. That fits good. Hmm, looks good too. Now just a little MIG weld down around there. But of course, Dave's farm style, we gotta try it out. Open pipe first, sweet. And we have a willing man. I think the key could be on the dash. And you said it right, man. Don't rev it right away, just warm it up a tiny bit. Get that oil flow going. We don't want to kill it like the Camry. Uh, key? Is it on the dash? Okay, go. there's a demonstration of what fart cans do. They give it a lower pitch. That's good for me. That's good for me. Yep, sounds a little less jappy and more like a, a big block. <laughs> more North American, you yeah. know, like a half master. Yeah. All right, let's slam this bitch back together and start welding. Well, she's all welded up along with lateral stabilization so we don't have rocking and break bolts off like we did a few times in the last car. Of course, you got your tractor, I mean, ricer flap. And it's only been a one and a half beer job so far today. Well, I actually didn't start to close to three. We had to go see the Lucan bylaw department. So, fire up, see if she works, Rick. Whoa, got to watch where I'm walking. Couple reps. Awesome! Oh, right. just a minute, hang on. Let to move my beer. See, it's not even in driver's view, so it's totally legal. Sweet! Yes! And there's no exhaust leaks either. Okay, the motor's cold. We gotta save it for good times. Alrighty. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ah. Now, can we make that better? I wonder. <laughs> Maybe after a few more beers. <laughs> well, does life get any better than this? If you thought the Nissan Sex was horny, the 200 Sex we had last year? Well, this epitomizes a horny car. And that should be functional. This is going to be the first time we fire it up and listen. Oh, God, you ready? Yeah. My God, probably, James is probably going to scatter up the road. <laughs> Give her some revs. Okay, but looks great. So, as you can see, 
when you're idling to get back pressure for maximum acceleration, now watch, okay, push that, cover it up, cover it up, see how it opens the top, <laughs> definitely sweet, but we can do better, might need a flamethrower in there, One of those baffler things. Oh, good hand warmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we gotta have a flamethrower in there. What else? Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, shut her down. Dave's horny car. Look out, ladies, you see this is coming. Awesome. But it can get better. Awesome. Totally a power mod, you know. No. Everybody knows when you put a park can on, you get more power. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look out, ladies. Who needs a Dave's big got a horny car. Yeah, who needs a big, long, sexy car to get horny? <laughs>